We're here in the absolutely stunning town of Trujillo. It's amazing and we really want you to come and see it with us. Last week we were in Cáceres and today we're visiting the neighbouring town of Trujillo. If you're in the area, both towns can be seen in the same day, but we thought each one deserved its own video. Trujillo was the final stop on the road trip that we've been taking you on over the last few weeks. And it was the perfect way to end a fantastic holiday. Much like Cáceres, the wealth of Trujillo came from the conquistadors who first went to the Americas and brought back riches. The main town square has this beautiful church and a statue of one of the conquistadors on horseback. With its rich history, walking around this town is like a trip back in time. Besides all the cars, of course. This church is surrounded by old, cobbled streets and views of the beautiful nearby countryside. We really like the look of this church and how it made us feel. These old buildings are connections to the past and being surrounded by them brings us closer to the history of the area. There's a lot to see and explore in this town and we really enjoyed our time here. And if you haven't noticed already, we've had guests with us on this whole road trip. Katie's brother James and his girlfriend Emily. They have been doing their best to keep out of the shots, but I'm sure you've noticed them lurking in the background. We thought we'd better say something in case you were worried we had stalkers. Our channel's doing well, but we're not that famous yet. The main attraction in Trujillo is the castle, Alcazaba, situated at the highest point in the town. Built by the Moors between the 9th and 12th centuries, it's a striking structure that's the first thing you see when driving into the town. This Moorish stone fortress has eight towers and a horseshoe arch. It's a beautiful castle and we'll let you explore it on your own for a moment. One funny thing we noticed was that none of the Christmas lights were turned on. Electricity is expensive in Spain, so maybe it's time a conquistador came and topped up the meter. As the sun began to set at the end of another wonderful day of exploring, we contemplated our time on the road. We loved visiting Toledo, Salamanca and Beja. The historical towns of Cáceres and Trujillo exceeded our expectations. And of course, there was the craziness of Los Escobazos. If you haven't watched that one yet, watch it straight after this. That festival will stay with us for a long time, not least because the smell of smoke won't wash out of our clothes. Thank you for joining us on this road trip. It's been wonderful. We had a great time and we hope you did too. Please like the video and share it with other virtual reality travellers. We want to keep creating more in virtual reality and so community support is essential. After your VR session, get on YouTube, subscribe and tell us what you thought of the video in the comments. If you're a rich conquistador, please support us on PayPal or Patreon. The links are in the description. Thank you so much and we'll see you next Friday for another VR adventure. Adios. Ciao. Are you looking for a new challenge or a new way to use your headset? Why not start learning Spanish in a virtual environment? With excellent instruction from the talented teacher Jen, we'll get you speaking Spanish in no time. You'll use your new language skills out and about with virtual amigos from around the world. 
Our three-hour virtual reality course is supported by additional learning materials in the real world. And this is all available free at morningcomproductions.com forward slash dynamic. Las Fias 360 is a documentary available in English, Spanish and Valenciano. Explore this unique Valencian festival and watch as the 600-year-old tradition culminates in a flurry of flames and explosions. Available now on our channels.